What is up guys, my name is K9 and welcome back to the pack. So I'm really pissed off because I've just tried recording this video so I'm going to record it again. Um, unfortunately, I saved it as well so I won't be able to go back to the old save file so you'll be able to see what I've got now. This is a game called Fallout Shelter. I'm pretty sure this was brought out um, due to Fallout 4 coming out. So this is a free game that's just come out, I think, recently on Xbox One. I've had it on my phone for a while, thanks to my friend Jerry. He's the one who got me interested in this game. Um, basically, what you have is you have a load, a load of little people called dwellers, and you have to get them into all these different sections to basically survive underground and it's actually a really really cool game um, also the green screen should hopefully be working now again I got it working last time so hopefully it's working again this time um, but yeah so we're just gonna enter vault 101 it was vault 777 on my mobile and I was should put a thing up of what my thing looks like right now hopefully so up here you should see what I've got on my mobile version of the game um, unfortunately yeah I did there was a few more people that arrived um, so I got quite a lot done to be fair so I'm going to try and get a bit more done this time. So if you don't know what this game is, basically, oh, my water's low. If you see at the top, I've got my power, food, and water. So water, power, that's that. Okay, that's above the line. There's a little line as well that see, it says how much you have to have exactly. So basically, there's a new dweller here, so I can show you what this person... Oh, okay, this is all right, actually. This is all right. So this person's called Angela Price. I want to try and rename them, but I'm not too sure how exactly I'm going to try for next episode if you guys do like this. Um, so since you've got charisma, Mr. What's your name? Carl Hancock. You, my friend, are going to go in the bedroom and make babies. Yeah, that's right. You can have babies in this game. And uh, the woman stays pregnant for a while. Um, and the kids stay kids for ages. And those kids do nothing. They just get in the way and it's really annoying. So you, since you've got agility, can go in here. This is the diner. So basically, um, the power generators here that change uh, people with most strength go there and then perseverance or something I think go to the water water treatment center and then people with the most agility go to the cafe and charisma go to the bedroom what are you doing in here where did I put you why are you wandering around wait a sec wait a sec are you on coffee break no get off coffee break you don't deserve coffee break you left your post without asking where the hell even were you were you down well, were you down here? I'm just going to put you down there anyway. Anyway, so obviously it says special, as you can see on the side. Yeah, they're very special people. Um, but basically, S stands for strength. P, I think, is perseverance or something around that. Oh, no, it's perception. P is perception. E is endurance. C is charisma. I is intelligence. A is agility and L is luck. So altogether, that makes special. Obviously, as you can say, see, uh, certain characters have more of one than the others. So obviously, Nancy Mills here has very high persistence. Did I say uh, something like that? I can't remember exactly what the word is. Wait, one sec, I'll show you. So the word is perception, that's it. So she has very high perception. Um, so obviously, the strength go in the power generator, agility people go in the cafe. You can unlock new rooms as well. So obviously, over here, there's storage room for endurance people. Um, that could work there. The med bay and science lab are both for people with most intelligence, but they obviously take 14 and 16 dwellers. So you need, I need one more dweller really in order to unlock those. Now, oh, come on. I want to try and rush. You can actually rush certain things as well, but sometimes it doesn't go to plan and they set on fire and they get the little fire extinguishers out. It's adorable. So I'm going to try and rush it. So 34% of an incident occurring if I do. So I'm going to give it a go and activate. Oh, I failed. No. No, there's a little fire. Oh, I can't zoom in either. I want to zoom in. I want to watch the fire. There's four of you. You guys got this. You guys don't need my help. Yeah, I can leave you there. Yeah, see? You got it. Little jump in the air. Awesome. Oh, no. Critical production failure. Yeah, the only problem with that is when it does fail... What am I doing? When it does fail like that, it then... As I've said, look, it was on one and a half minutes. It's now on three... 3 minutes 53 seconds so it's gone up and that means that I have less amount of time to get my power sorted. I could just make another power generator but there's not enough people to do that with. So uh, I've got enough water so oh no I'll go to here. One of you where's the woman? So you I'm going to make you make babies with Mr. Comedian up here that looks too much like David Williams. Mr. Hiding David Williams up there. Actually never mind he's got really long hair. So obviously now the power's run out on this. The power runs out. 
So when it does run out, um, it runs out of the furthest room away from a power generator first. Obviously, the bedroom here is run out of power. So these guys are unable to make babies at the minute. And next to go, I'm pretty sure will be the diner. Oh, this is not going well so far. These are all my people. Obviously, everyone's got very different abilities. Carl, I got given in a little lunch box. A little lunch box gives you five or six cards, I think, which then give you either caps, which is the currency in this game. So obviously, it's literally bottle caps up at the top there, 675 caps. Or it can give you a new character or weapons, because obviously you do get raided in this game. And you can send people out into the wasteland as well to get you more things, so you can get more clothes, more weapons, more caps, everything like that. And um, you can also get pets to go out with you. I've got a cat in my um, in my one of my mobile, and the cat actually helps the health regeneration. So certain pets have certain abilities, as far as I'm aware. So come on, 2 minutes 24, if you could actually make the power happen. I was going to try and send someone out when I did record this last time, but I decided not to because I wasn't really good enough clothing. And I've realised that when I do send them out, I'm not actually going to be able to get them back for a while because um, obviously there's going to be a few days between recording these episodes. So if I was to send someone out, it'll have to be a longer episode for me to do that because obviously they're going to take hours to go out and come back. And if I sent someone out now and then didn't record this again for another, what, two days, they'd be gone for two days. And that is it's real time as well, so they would actually legit be gone for two days. And that means that they would take at least a day and a half to actually come back to two days. Which then means that they wouldn't be back for the whole episode. So if I was to do that, I would probably play the game in another two hour stretch and stuff like that. But for now, I just want to kind of show you what the game's about. And obviously you need these elevators as well, because you can build, you build a cross, obviously. And then you can, can I, can I get off this? Yeah. So you can build a cross here. And also you can build down. So obviously this goes really far down. And if you want to go down a layer here, you have to destroy this rock too. So this one here, this rock is 150 caps to destroy it. But I don't need to destroy that just yet so I can actually move across. Obviously this goes really far down. Really far down. This is as far as it goes down. And that's how kind of how big your shelter can be. Because as far as I'm aware, you're only allowed 200 dwellers in the whole game. So if that's the case, then... That is going to be really annoying. I don't want to rush you again, because every time you go to rush them again, the incident percentage, the chance of an incident goes up. So that means that, basically, you're more likely to get a fire. And sometimes it's not a fire. Sometimes you get a roach infestation and stuff, and you have to kill them to get rid of them. Um, and as I've said about the raiders, they do come only when you're on the game. They never come when you're off the game. Um, but you need to have weapons and stuff to defend yourself with when they do come. And luckily... When they do come to start with, you often get a gun at some point during the start of the game. And the raiders, when they first arrive, usually have either fists, sticks, or swords or something. So you're more likely to win. Except, obviously, you will need some sort of health pack. And with the intelligence um, people in the science labs and everything, they make stim packs and radiation suits. So here's what they look like. The left-hand side arrow key on the here on on this thing here on the menu is a stim pack and those things uh if you lose health they give you oh i need to get power get the power so if you lose health they give you that health back basically i think it's about a quarter or something it returns for one stim pack and then obviously the radiation on the right hand side arrow key is what um when you go out into the wasteland and come back you often get a red bar and you can't get rid of that with this stim pack you have to use a radiation thing before using the stim pack but obviously if you have a radiation suit, you're less likely to get radiation poisoning, if that makes sense on this game. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to leave this here for now. I just wanted to give you an idea of what this game is about. It's free on Xbox One. It's free on your mobile device as well, and you've seen mine. And I'm pretty sure it's free on PC, but I'm not too sure. So, um, oh, I might as well give you an up level. Give you an up level. That's how, that's how words work. Um, what are you doing? Okay, awesome. Right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. And this is my place so far at the present moment. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. So I, want, I just want to know if this is kind of a popular video for people to watch, if they do want to watch this kind of thing. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, just leave a like. If you want to see more like this, then subscribe. And I will see you next time.